Hi, in this video, we're covering part two of the Gut Health Restored series, and we're going to discuss protein digestion. Stop putrefying your protein with the help of some stomach acid support, some digestive enzymes, and we got specific formulas that I'm going to mention. Okay, what is putrefaction? That is literally the protein in your stomach. The food that you eat is actually going rotten, right? And then releasing this odor that's due to other bacteria breaking down your food for you because you have insufficient hydrochloric acid or specific enzymes in your digestive tract. So let's go down below. You can see here, it talks about healthy protein digestion and what it takes to have sufficient hydrochloric acid production. Now, most individuals, unfortunately, are being misinformed that they don't have enough hydrochloric acid or they have too much. And that leads to certain symptoms, but really it's oftentimes too little. And a lot of medical doctors don't actually do the test to assess. And there is a test. We actually do conduct this in our office where we can actually measure the hydrochloric acid in the stomach by dropping an actual acid testing device and then pulling it back up to measure, do you have sufficient acid or not? And oftentimes we find that most individuals who have protein digestion issues don't have enough acid. Now, what can help? Um, what can having sufficient stomach acid help with? Well, it can actually start to activate enzymes. It can actually help with vitamin B12 digestion and release, and it stimulates peristalsis. So peristalsis is where your digestive tract is constantly moving the food downward so that digestion and proper assimilation and nutrients can actually take place. So that's what sufficient uh, hydrochloric acid will help with. And it's important to have that. Now, our number one formula for that is Zypan. Zypan actually has hydrochloric acid in it from fermented sugar beets. And then there's some pancreatic enzymes that help with the actual digestion of foods, as well as pepsin. Pepsin is the key uh, enzyme that actually needs to be activated by sufficient amounts of hydrochloric acid to start breaking down protein within your stomach. That's where most of your protein is actually being digested in the stomach. This formula here is best taken right in the middle of the meal. And oftentimes I will recommend that individuals drink their liquids or their soups or their beverages separate from the meal, because we don't want it to dilute the hydrochloric acid with water, which has a neutral pH, right? Acidic, acidic substances and acid has a very low pH. And if we were to add in water, it would start to raise the pH because it's very neutral at a pH of seven. So we just want to make sure that if you are taking Zypan, have it in the middle of the meal. So it starts to get into the food and starts breaking it down and then just keep those liquids separate from any solids. You can always have your soups and your beverages later once your digestion has been restored and you can have it, uh, usually I like to have it about 15 to 30 minutes after my meal has been completed. Okay. If you have been on over the counter aids too long, just know that there's potential health challenges. If you are having a dependency on that, a lot of these over the counter aids may, um, suppress your own hydrochloric acid production. And oftentimes they'll have artificial colorings and they may have some heavy metals contained within them. So be cautious of that. Okay. And then down below, we have some other formulas on this blog post. We have AF beta food, as I mentioned, has it's rich in uh, beets and chards and even other, other foods that actually help the liver to create bile and then to also thin the bile so it can properly be released to actually emulsify fats and help your body absorb fat soluble vitamins. And this is my favorite herbal formula, Digest Forte. It's got gentian root, ginger, tangerine peel, and wormwood. These are all known to stimulate the gastric juices and to stimulate your body to produce its own hydrochloric acid. This is a great vegetarian formula and it can be used in combination with the Zypan because it actually, this formula stimulates your body to produce sufficient hydrochloric acid and get the digestive tract going. Gentian root is very dose dependent. So if you're finding that you're having challenges making more uh, hydrochloric acid with just one tablet, you can go higher to two tablets per meal, but usually very seldom are we going to need to go to three tablets per meal. Usually one, maybe two is sufficient and tangerine peel, you know, I'm half Chinese and half Portuguese. And I can recall when I was younger, all of my Chinese relatives would always have tangerine peels laying around the house. I literally thought that they were too lazy. My relatives were too lazy to throw away the peels in the trash can. But really there's in Chinese medicine, they always knew to keep the tangerine peel, leave it around, 
have it dehydrated. And after a meal, they would chew the tangerine peel to stimulate digestion. So that's why tangerine is in there. And ginger, ginger always creates a little warmth and heat and has been known to stimulate digestion. And that's why you'll oftentimes see in Chinese cuisine, ginger is spread out in various dishes, not only to help with the flavor, but also to help with stimulation. Okay, I hope this video helps you out in understanding protein digestion. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. In part three, we're gonna cover fats. And then four, we're gonna cover carbohydrates.